Welcome, I'm filming the Realme 8 and today I'll show you how to record your screen on the phone. So to get started, all you need to do is pull down the notification panel and find the screen recording toggle, which for me is on the second page right over here. So once you find it, tap on it and let's continue and agree and allow, uh, allow access to whatever it wants. And from here we will have the pop-up with several options. So number one, uh, tap to record. This will start the recording. Then we have a settings and simply closing it. So can I tap on the settings. We have a couple of quick ones. So record system sound, record microphone sound. Uh, it also looks like we can have uh, both of them at the same time, which is really nice. Although I would probably discourage you from doing that, assuming you're not using headphones. If you are using headphones, it's going to be fine. If you're not, it's going to create an unwanted echo, which uh, just use headphones. Uh, and then we can also tap on more settings. And this will take us to uh, well the settings page right here where we have several other ones. So we have uh, quality uh, by default set to medium for some reason. So let's change it to high. Um, you can also go with custom, which will allow you to set uh, basically the resolution and bitrate manually, but it looks like high is actually the highest. So that's, I guess, good. Although those settings are nearly, I would say, high enough considering, if I remember correctly, this device bases the resolution of, or not resolution, but like bitrate to be the quality and the resolution doesn't really change anything, which, yeah. Um, then we have frame rate. Let me just quickly get rid of this so I can actually see. So dynamic uh, automatically adjusts the frame rate uh, based on the content being recorded. Um, I guess you can probably keep that. It seems like a decent, uh, decent idea here, assuming it works uh, well. So I would assume if you're recording something like an image, something that is just still and not moving, it probably won't be recording at a very fast. But the moment it sees something moving around on the screen, it will record it at, well, it looks like max 30 frames. So yeah, um, honestly, probably copying it at 30 frames would be also a decent idea because varied frame rate is not necessarily the most uh, enticing idea here. And uh, Sadly, there is only 30 frames max. Now, below that, we have other uh, video coding for best compatibility. We can change it, check it, leave it as it is. Uh, then below that, we have front camera, which will use the well, front camera to record uh, what the camera sees and adds a little uh, circle with that on the recording. So if you don't want a front camera added to your recording, then don't select it and also show screen touches so meaning whatever you touch the screen to scroll up down or tap on anything it will show up on the video as a semi-transparent uh, gray dot so once you have basically set all the settings to your liking you can simply leave it and go back to the toggle tap on it and simply start recording so from here whatever you do will be recorded uh, with a minor uh, inconvenience of uh, you not being able to record things like um, any kind of video uh, streaming services. So for instance, Netflix, uh, you won't be recording that. If you're wondering, if you wanted to do something like that, uh, don't even bother. Uh, all you're gonna get is just a black screen and just the audio and nothing else. Okay, so once you have finished recording, you can find the actual recording in your photo gallery. So let's open up photos. And actually I didn't want to do that. There we go. And from here you can see camera. Uh, for some reason it isn't camera even though it's not because it's a screen recording. So it should be in like screenshots. Uh, so this location might vary a bit uh, if you have more than nothing on your, on your in your photo gallery, it might actually place it in correct place, but for me it's just right over here. But anyway, that that being said, as you can see, that was the screen recording. That's where you can find it. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.